what's up guys welcome back to my channel i know it has been a very long time since i've uploaded but i'm back and i'm super excited to show you guys today's project i decided to make this bandana sleeve hoodie i saw one in red i saw a girl on instagram and she had a red hoodie with red bandana sleeves so i'm like oh my gosh i have to make that it was super super easy so if you're interested in seeing how i made it then just keep on watching so for this video i'm gonna be using this orange sweater that i got from walmart for ten dollars and the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and take the sleeve off of the hoodie using my seam ripper now you can do this from the outside or the inside i was just being lazy so i decided to seam rip from the outside so i'm just pretty much pulling apart the sleeve from the body and taking my seam ripper and ripping those threads that connected the two and once i'm done with that I am going to also do the same thing to the wristband, which you'll see here in a second. And then, of course, you're going to want to repeat these same steps on the other sleeve as well. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and flip the sleeve inside out. Then I'm just going to set it to the side until I need it again. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking this bandana that is folded in half and I'm just cutting off this part of the bandana that is blank and it doesn't have any print on it. So I'm doing that to both ends. Then I'm going to go ahead and repeat those same steps on another bandana and this is going to be for the other sleeve, of course. And once I'm done cutting off both ends, you can see here, once I put the sleeve on top of the bandana, the bandana is not long enough. So I'm going to take a third bandana and you see I already cut the blank space off of that one. And I'm just going to measure how much more I would need to fill up the entire length of the sleeve. And I'm going to cut off a little bit longer than that just to be sure. And then I'm going to take that piece and cut this exact length out again because of course we need one for each sleeve and once i'm done cutting out both of these pieces all i'm going to do is take that bandana open it up take one of those shorter pieces and open that up place right sides together and then i'm going to sew a straight stitch to make it one long piece of bandana and of course repeat that for both pieces so here you see i went ahead and sewed that down now i'm folding it back in half and I'm placing the fold of the sleeve right on to the fold of the bandana. Then I'm just going to cut this shape out. Now I did cut it out a little bit bigger just because um, bandanas don't stretch very much like at all. And the sweater does stretch more so. So I just wanted to make sure that when I stretch the sweater, it'll equal out to the same size as the bandana. So that's why I'm cutting it cutting the bandana a little bit bigger than the actual sleeve so once I'm done with that I'm just going to take the other bandana fold it in half then I'm going to use that sleeve that I just cut out as a template to cut out another sleeve of course for the other side Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to open each sleeve up and then go ahead and refold it so that right sides are together. Then I'm just going to go ahead and sew a straight stitch down this long raw edge for both of the sleeves. So now that I have sewn that stitch, I am going to go ahead and turn this back so right sides are out. So this is the side that we are going to see. Then taking my sleeve, I'm going to place that inside of the bandana sleeve. Now both of these sleeves are right sides out. So just make sure they are both facing the right way. And then I'm going to tuck that into the bandana sleeve. Now I'm taking both of the seams that are going to go like in the armpit area. And I'm just matching those up so it's all nice and even all the way around. Now, on this part, you want to make sure your the body of your hoodie is inside out, but your sleeve is right side out. 
Then I took the wrist part of the sleeve and tucked it in first. And now I'm matching up those two underarm seams to the underarm of the hoodie. If that didn't make sense, feel free to slow it down or go back and rewatch it, but it's really simple. Then you're just gonna go ahead and pin all the way around the sleeve just like that now moving on to the wrist i'm just cutting off the extra fabric so that the wrists are all nice and even and then i'm gonna take this uh, wrist piece and i'm going to pretty much open it up and insert it onto the wrist now you want to make sure all the raw edges are facing each other so again i'm gonna find those side seams and match them all up at this point you should have four layers of fabric because there's two layers for the wristband and one bandana sleeve and one regular sleeve then you're just going to go ahead and pin all this fabric all the way around now you also are going to need to stretch the wristband as you're pinning just to make sure that you're pinning it evenly all the way around once you're done it should look like this so both your sleeves and both your wristbands then all you need to do is take it to your machine and sew a straight stitch all the way around and when you're done it should look something like this so i hope this was easy enough to follow again if you miss anything feel free to go back and slow it down but yeah it's a super easy project and i hope you guys enjoyed and you never told us All right, you guys, so that is gonna conclude this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, if it was easy to follow, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and also let me know in the comments any other type of videos you guys are interested in seeing because it's 2021 and I'm trying to bring y'all all the heat, period. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.